This is Greg Hall of Barn 6A, an alumnus of the Courier Journal. Uh, for Kentucky Derby 143, I've really wrestled with this one. Uh, you can go back and, and find uh, some stinkers in the archives of the Courier Journal, but this year I've really been on the same kind of four horses, just not sure which order I thought uh, they'd be in. And uh, really, I think one of the keys to this race is who can get to the paddock in one piece and not have a meltdown. Uh, because if any one of these horse, four horses runs to their form, they're very, very capable of winning it. I'm going to go with the two-year-old champion, Classic Empire. Uh, he has uh, had a little bump in the road several uh, weeks ago, but uh, seems to be on track now. And uh, really, there's no evident reason to go against him. Uh, McCracken, I will take second. Uh, locally based horse training very well. Irish War Cry, the Wood Memorial winner, has impressed since he arrived. He'll be my choice for third. Always dreaming. Uh, I've wanted to like this horse. Uh, his race is probably the best of the preps, but uh, in the Florida Derby. But uh, just the way he acts around the racetrack, uh, Todd Pletcher had to you know change some things up in training here. He seems the most likely to me to not live up to his form, but again, is very capable. Uh, the horse that's impressed me on the track the most in the last couple days is uh, the Santa Anita Derby winner, Gormley. And uh, if I were going to do a super high five, which I'm probably not, he would be the one to round that out.